Well, the George Washington University student newspaper, the GW Hatchet, apologized for asking a question about transgender athletes during a November 2nd debate and moderated between the college Republicans and college Democrats. The question, why do conservatives equate the inclusion of transgender female athletes as an attack on women's sports? Well, it prompted a backlash on Twitter. One user posting this, there is no journalistic integrity in asking about a trans woman's experience with puberty, arguing about it, and heightening the firestorm around it at a moment when trans people are experiencing higher rates of violence and murder. Well, here to discuss is a student from George Washington University, Danny D'Urbina. Danny, thanks for joining us this morning. Uh, this is a uh, controversy on the campus of GW, but also it's happening across the country right now. Tell us, in your opinion, why did this debate question spark so much outrage? Absolutely. Thank you for having me. Um, so I, I believe this, right? I mean, the left's main requirement is conformity, and their main threat to power is asking questions. And this is what it's really all about, right? We saw in 2020, we couldn't ask what we put in our bodies. We couldn't ask, you know, why we're sending trillions of dollars to Ukraine. Um, we, we've allowed sort of these uh, coastal elites and high-rise newsrooms to dictate what the approved narratives are. And anything that goes against that is automatically a threat to their power. And so we saw this in this case, right? This was simply a question. It wasn't even a claim by the moderator. Um, and just asking the question caused such a backlash because, again, it goes against that approved narrative. And so I, I think, especially for, for my generation, right, it, we, we saw how we, we led a free speech movement in the past. I think if we want to save this country, we have to lead, we have to lead a, a free thought revolution um, to take back our country. Well, Denny, the editor-in-chief of the GW Hatchet issued this apology. I'd like to get your opinion on this. Uh, he said, quote, at the Hatchet, our mission is to serve every member of the GW community, not only with fairness, but also with sensitivity and awareness through our coverage. Whenever we fail in that mission, it is our job to address our shortcomings own up to any harm or negative impact on the community, hold ourselves accountable and commit to betterment. The Hatchet asked a question at a public debate on campus that was inappropriate and harmful. We sincerely apologize for the question and the harm it created. So uh, newspaper backtracking on this, Danny, your reaction? Well, my, my reaction is this, is that it was just a question, right? Um, and so it's, it's pretty shocking that on a campus where we're supposed to you know, have discourse and dialogue, um, we can't ask questions anymore. We can't ask questions about basic biology. We can't ask questions about, um, again, like what we can put in our bodies. We, we were mandated um, to, to get the vaccine on this campus. And so I, I think it's that. It, it, it is such a threat to, to free speech. I mean, we're seeing it now too, right? I mean, Elon Musk just bought Twitter and he, he faced threats from Apple simply for you know, wanting to allow people to speak. Um, and so I think the, the left is kind of like in, in a panic frenzy right now, um, trying to control the narrative again because they're losing it. I think people are waking up and, and it's shocking that especially on the campus, we, we can't discuss something as, as like simple as this. Um, and I, I think it, it kind of begs, you know, the Washington Post likes to say democracy dies in darkness. I think um, democracy dies under, under this coastal elite rule. Um, and so I think, uh, especially on a campus like this, we should maybe start talking about biology um, and, and less about this, this sort of nonsense that's going on. Yeah, of course, we saw that all about this uh, with the Pennsylvania swimmer, University of Pennsylvania trans uh, woman swimmer uh, competing against the women and just uh, kind of wiping away the competition. Uh, the newsroom, Danny, has committed a series of diversity, equity and inclusion workshops now, committed to taking those workshops. Uh, is that necessary? I don't think it is, right? I mean, again, what, what was the crime? It, it was a thought crime, right? You, you, you just you couldn't ask the question. It was it was so egregious to to sort of the um, the ruling class on campus. And so, uh, no, I, I don't think it's necessary. I think um, I think what we need is to just accept that we're, when you're when you're on the university campus, you're here to kind of like be challenged intellectually, grow. Um, and that includes asking questions and maybe getting answers you don't like and then debating them, let the best ideas win. Um, but in this case, they, they decided that the best way to move forward is just by stifling debate um, altogether, which, which I, I would posit is not, not the way uh, we should move forward in a free society.
Yeah, Danny, uh, really quickly, uh, how popular uh, are opinions like yours on the campus of GW? You're in the minority, obviously, but what would you say uh, the breakdown is, if you had to guess, uh, percentage-wise? Yeah. Is it 5% of the community that feels the way you do, uh, 10%? Yeah, listen, it's possible, but I think um, it, it, we're definitely not in the majority, that's for sure. I mean, earlier this year, we canceled our own mascot, uh, the Colonials, because it was, I mean, too controversial. And, you know, they were in Washington, D.C., next to the Washington Memorial, um, but they, they canceled George Washington as our mascot. Well, says, um, and so <laughs> that says a bunch, yeah, it, right? That says it all. Exactly. Dan, Danny uh, Diobrino, we appreciate your time this morning. Thanks for sharing your insights. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. All right. No crooked, crooked establishment. None of that twisting, twisting the truth. No talking down don't to me. Don't tell me how to think. Don't tell me how to don't think. Don't tell me how to think. I trust Newsmax. Newsmax. They don't tell, tell me, me how, how to think. think. They let, let me decide. Newsmax. Real news. For real people.